welcome to the Infernal Brotherhood of the Scruffy-Looking Nerf Herders. Today I'm reading Star Wars Heir to the Empire, number one. Five years after the destruction of the second Death Star, the Rebel Alliance has driven the remnants of the old Imperial Starfleet to a distant corner of the galaxy. The Alliance has established its fledgling government, the New Republic, in the old Imperial Palace on the planet Coruscant. The Rebel heroes, Princess Leia Organa and Han Solo, have recently married and are expecting twins, while Leia's brother, Luke Skywalker, has become the first in a long-awaited new line of Jedi Knights. But thousands of light years away, the Emperor's greatest tactician has taken command of the shattered Imperial fleet, readied it for war, and pointed it at the fragile heart of the New Republic. For this warrior has made vital discoveries that could destroy everything the Rebels fought so hard to build. Captain Pelion, the scout ships have just come out of light speed. Captain Pelion? Sir? I heard him. Captain Pelion? This is not a cattle market, Lieutenant. This is the bridge of an Imperial Star Destroyer. Information is not simply shouted in the recipient's direction. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, then, a report. Yes, sir. The scouts have returned from the scan raid on the Obrosky system. Very good. Have the wing commander report to the bridge as soon as all ships are aboard. Dismissed. So young. Continue tracing those lines. I'll be in Grand Admiral Thrawn's quarters. Yes, sir. Captain Palion. Blast it, Rue. What do you think you're doing? I'm doing my job. You may enter. Thank you. Come in, Captain. What do you think? It's very interesting, sir. All holographic, of course. Some of them are lost. Many are on planets now occupied by the Rebellion. The scouts have returned from the Obra Sky system. Were they able to tap into the Central Library? They got at least a partial dump. Apparently, there was some attempt at pursuit. The wing commander thinks he lost them, though. No. No, I don't believe he has. I've ordered the sentry line onto yellow alert. Shall we go to red? Not yet. Tell me, Captain, do you know anything about art? Uh, not much. You should take the time. Safra paintings. Note how the style changes right here at the first contact with the thin Cora. I see. Admiral, shouldn't we be... Bridge to Captain Admiral Thrawn? Sir, we're under attack! This is Thrawn. Go to Red Alert and tell me what we've got. Calmly, if possible. Four New Republic assault frigates, plus three wings of X-Wing fighters in a V formation, coming in on scout ship Vector. Damn! Prepare to make the l jump to light speed. Belay that order. TIE fighter crews to stations. Activate deflector shields. Admiral! Come, Captain. Let's take a look, shall we? Bridge. Order the three nearest sentry ships to attack. Yes, sir. We just lost a sentry ship. 
Bridge, recall the other ships. I want a 20-degree port yaw rotation, dropping dock, drop docking bay deflector shields, TIE fighter squadrons, launch when ready. Not only will they be able, will they fall for it, they'll be utterly destroyed. They're not going to fall for a simple Marg Sable closure maneuver. On the contrary. What in the Empire are they doing? They're trying the only defense they know against a Mark Sable. You see, Captain, there's an Elomin commanding that force, and Elomin simply cannot handle the unstructured attack profile of a Mark Sable. Learn about art, Captain. When you understand a species' art, you understand the species. Bridge, this is Grand Admiral Thrawn. We'll be temporarily leaving the fleet. Set course for a planet called Mirker. It's in the nav computer. Mirker? For three hundred years, both the Old Republic and the Jedi left it strictly alone. The explanation provided extremely useful. The first piece of the puzzle, an animal indigenous to Mirker, actually. The second piece lies on a world called Wayland. May I ask just what exactly this puzzle is? Why, the only puzzle worth solving, of course. The complete, total, and utter destruction of the Rebellion. Ben, why do you have to leave? Master Luke, are you all right? Of course, C-3PO. I just wanted some fresh air. Are you sure? Of course, I don't mean to pry. I'm just a little depressed. I was thinking about Ben. He was always very kind to me and R2. You have a unique perspective. Oh dear, I hope I haven't offended you. You didn't offend. In fact, you just delivered Ben's last lesson to me. I beg your pardon? Governments are important, 3PO. But when you sift everything down, they're all just made up of people. Oh. Well, sir, if you are indeed all right, I shall be on my way. What made you come up here in the first place? Princess Leia sent me, of course. She said you were in some kind of distress. She's showing off her new Jedi skills, proving she can pick up on mood, even in the middle of the night. Shall I tell her you're all right, then? Sure. And tell her to quit worrying about me. Her morning sickness is bad enough when she isn't worn out. I'll deliver the message, sir. Tell her I love her. This place is strong with the dark side. Like the cave on Dagobah. Stop it. Jumping at shadows isn't going to solve anything. I'm having nightmares. It's the stress of creating a new government. There is no magic wand to make everything better, not even for a Jedi. Don't worry, he'll be here. Hello, Solo. Hello, Daravis. Have a seat. Sure. Soon as you and Chewie put both hands on the table. I hear you made general, married a princess, and got twins on the way. I resigned the general part. So what's this all about? We're looking to hire smugglers. What? The New Republic's short of ships and pilots. It's an opportunity to earn some quick, honest money. The group is never going to buy this. Why not? Because you're gone respectable. Don't give me a hurt look. You've been out of the business too long. So what are you going to do? Operate in Imperial sectors? Their territory has been shrieking for five years straight. Not for long. I heard there's some new in, someone new in charge. Just give our people your offer, okay? I will. Hey, 
Who's a big fish now that Java's gone? I'd put my money on Talon Card. Where can I find him? You'd like to know that, wouldn't you? Dravis? Gotta go. You might tell your pal over here. He's the worst excuse for a backup man I've ever seen. Well, what do you expect with Admiral Akbar on the council? The Calamarians were death on smugglers. Don't worry, they'll come around. Come on, let's go. Travis says you're the worst excuse for a backup man he's ever seen. I thought I was the whole idea. Yes, but Travis didn't. Where's Paige, anyway? Right here. Sir? See anything suspicious? Nope. This guy must be genuinely trusting you. Yeah. Progress. Let's get going. I want to swing through the Obra Sky system on the way. That missing Elohim task force? Yeah. They want to see if they figured out what happened to him. You asked me to join for you for dinner? Come in, Mara. Hm. You were telling me... It's not what you think. This is a business meal. No more, no less. Out with you, Drang. Here, this should cheer you up. You were telling me this was just a business meal? It makes for an interesting meeting when discussing a promotion. I've been only... I've only been with the group six months. Time has never been as important as ability and results. I've been lucky. I've found that luck is often little more than talent, combined with the ability to make the most of opportunities. I'd like to start grooming you to be my second in command. If you give me that kind of authority, I'm likely to use it. Bzz. Yes? An Imperial Star Destroyer just made orbit. Thorv makes it to Chimera. Interesting. They've dispatched two scuttles, projecting landing points somewhere here in the forest. Give me hailing. Imperial Star Destroyer Chimera, this is a talent card. May I be of assistance? This is Captain Pelion. What is it you want? Merely to be of assistance to you and Grand Admiral Thrawn. Who? Ah, of course. Never heard of him. Or the information raids on Obra Sky. Information on Imperial activities can be expensive. You're after your sal... Your salmary, aren't you? Expensive can also mean costly. I only wish to help, Captain. You can't just pull your army from their branches. They'll die. I suppose you're willing to show us for a fee? No fee. We're just being neighborly. My expert will meet you at the landing site. Your generosity will be remembered. You don't believe they're only here for your sal- Your salmary? All this way to collect your salmary is a bit of overkill to use against a single Jedi. Maybe they're not after Skywalker. Maybe they found some more Jedi. Seems unlikely. Anyhow, if Grand Admiral wants help, we should help him. What for? Why so vehement? Seems like a waste of time. Thrawn's just jumping at shadows. We still have business to discuss. You mentioned some improvements you'd like to make. Yes, well, I wonder why she hates Skywalker so much. I still don't see why these Ysalamiri are necessary. Call it a precaution, Captain. You seem certain, sir, that... Guard will be a dark Jedi. Who else would the Emperor have chosen to guard his personal storehouse? Is that Mount Tantis? Yes, sir. The city ought to be visible soon. Interesting. There are at least three styles of architecture. Human plus two alien species. Any idea where those alien species are hostile towards strangers? Probably. Shall we go? Shy, aren't they? Understandably. 
I seek the guardian of the mountain. Who will take me to him? Hold. You have the location? Yes. Good. One of your people just shot at us. Observe the consequences. Now. These are the consequences of defying me. I ask once more, who will take me to the guardian of the mountain? I will. You are strangers from off world. We are. And you? I rule here. I am Grand Admiral Thrawn, warlord of the Empire. I seek the guardian of the mountain. I will take you to him. I see, so he is dead. These candles mark the graves of offworlders who came here since his death. How do they die? I killed them, of course. Just as I now kill you. Hold. As you can see, Guardian, we are not ordinary off-worlders. You are not Jedi. How do you do this? Join us and learn. I am a Jedi Master. I join no one. Then permit us to join you, and permit us to show you more power than you've ever imagined. Very well. Come, we will talk. Whom do we have the honor of addressing? I am the Jedi Master, Jorus Kabaoth. Jorus Kabaoth, but... You will not now tell me how you defeated my attack. Let me explain our offer. You will now tell me how you defeated my attack. These creatures you see on our backs are Yusalamiri. They have an interesting and unique, possibly a unique ability. They push back the Force. I've never heard of such a thing. How could such a creature come about? I don't know. The ability itself is sufficient for my purposes. That purpose being to defeat my power? We need to make certain you would allow us to identify ourselves and explain our mission. That being? All in good time, Master Kabath. After we've had a chance to examine the Emperor's storehouse inside Mount Tantis. So, the mountain is all you really want? I hope to find a genuinely practical cloaking shield. You want the Emperor's little toys? Why are you still sitting here? I also require the partnership of a Jedi Master like yourself. Ah, uh, this, I take it, is where you, you offer me all the power I could desire? I am a Jedi Master, Grand Admiral Thrawn, not a mercenary for hire like the Nogri. Oh yes, I know what your people are, the Emperor's private death commandos. Name your price. I have all I want or need, Grand Admiral Thrawn. You will leave Wayland now. I need your assistance, Master Gabouth, and I will have it. Or you'll do what? Have you Nogri try to kill me? It would almost be amusing to watch. Perhaps I'll seek challenge in your destruction. That would hardly be a challenge for a man of your skill. But you probably have other Jedi under your command. Other Jedi? There are no Jedi left. The Emperor and Vader destroyed them all. Not all. Two new Jedi have arisen. Luke Skywalker and his sister, Leia Organa Solo. And what is that to me? 
I can deliver them to you. Both of them? Both of them. Mold them. Change them. Recreate them in any image you choose. And there's a bonus. Leia Organa Solo is pregnant with twins. Very well, Grand Admiral Thrawn. In return for the Jedi, I will assist your forces. Take me to your ship. So once again, you smuggler friends refuse to commit themselves. It's not a matter of commitment, Admiral. They just don't see any gain in switching from smuggling to straight shipping. Or could be a lack of trust. It's possible. Possible? Some of us groups don't trust us. They think the offer might be a trap to bring them out in the open. Because of me, of course. Haven't you tired of this yet, Counselor Fela? It's hardly worthwhile to send a valuable man like Captain Solo on these missions if they're pre-doomed to failure. They're not pre-doomed to failure. The smugglers are waiting for the same thing as the rest of the galaxy. The re-establishment of law and the old republic. Captain Solo, thank you for your report. This meeting is adjourned. So, are you out of here? The sooner the better. I just have to get these things to winter. I take it things are getting a little rough, but they called me in. Fela and Akbar had a dogfight over the fiasco at Obra Sky, the lost Elliman force. Fela suggested the job of commander to chief uh, in chief might be too much for Akbar. And then, of course, Mon Mothma. A word with you, Leia? Yes. Did you talk to Luke about going with you to Bimisari? Yes. I didn't get a chance to tell you, Han. The Bims have asked that Luke be there with me for the talks. They give any reasons? The Bims are rather hero-oriented, and Luke's part in the Battle of Endor is well known. We'd better get going. We still have to collect our droids. The droids are already on the Falcon. Good luck. I'll be alright, Han. You, me, and Luke together again, just like old times. Sure. <sighs> just exactly like old times. Well, here we are. Bim is sorry. Fur and moving planets a specialty. None of that, Han. You'll do fine. I wish you two wouldn't do that. It's like listening to a half conversation. Sorry. Our reception committee's coming. I'll get 3PO ready. You ready, Chewie? <laughs> Oh, come on! You've been fond over before! It's all right, Han. If he wants to stay aboard, the Bims won't be offended. I just thought it'd be nice to have a little extra backup along. The Bims are very friendly people. There won't be any trouble. On behalf of the New Republic, greetings! <laughs> he offers greetings and hopes you're... Discussions are fruitful. He also requests that Captain Solo return his weapon to the ship. What was that last? Weapons of violence are not permitted within the city. There are no exceptions. Diplomacy? Happy? Aren't I always? 3PO, tell them we're ready. Luke? I know. Maybe they figured it's just a part of a proper Jedi's outfit. Or else their weapons detectors doesn't read lightsabers. Good skies! Would you look at that crowd? <laughs> they apologize that the talks cannot yet begin. Their chief negotiator just became ill. I understand. We may 
as well return to the Falcon until he's ready to continue. <laughs> Your Highness, they are eager to conduct you on a tour of the marketplace where you wait while you wait. He further suggests that Master Luke and Captain Solo might find the tower's upper chambers interesting. I like marketplaces. I like them a lot. What do you think? I don't sense any duplicity. I don't see what danger there could be. The marketplace has been in the same spot for two hundred years. Hasn't changed much, has it? <coughs> no thanks, 3PO. Have our host tell him we're not interested. I'm terribly sorry, Captain, but our host seems to have disappeared. How could he just disappear? I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's get back to the tower. We got trouble. Han, who are they? I don't know. Never seen anything like them. But those things they're holding are Stokely sticks. They shoot a paralyzing spray net 200 meters. They're heading... Hurting us... Toward the down ramp. We're doomed. I think it's time to pull a welcome mat. Better give Luke a shout. He can't help us. Why not? They've got him too. Thank you all for tuning in. We invite you to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell to get notified about our next video. Until the Infernal Brotherhood convenes again, my fellow scruffy-looking nerf herders, may the Force be with you.